Welcome back to the second half! Yeah... I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's tied, and I'm receiving. And, he's, and also, I've, he's only got eleven. Yeah, he's only got eight players on the pitch. Yeah, uh, I think with, yes, yes, eight. It's good, especially his free man being out. I approve of that. I'm, I'm always, to be honest, kind of sad when, when I when I kill players on the other team. Because I'm I'm playing I'm playing against guys that I actually enjoy talking to rather than just playing like random puppies. I mean they're nice guys since they play against me, so I can then record it and talk over it. And well, so I'm like fuck! I killed a guy. I I just want to badly hurt them. Okay. But killing is good. Yeah. Who is it? The Especially. Since apparently the IRC channel uh, wants set to die for some reason. I wonder I why. why. Yeah. It's because he's the best one. They want to get rid of the best player, so they have an easy time conquering the team without yeah, his presence. must be. That's definitely it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, here I'm trying to figure out the best way to set up my my Minotaur. And I'm like, why, why, why did I put him in the middle? That seems not good, but okay. So he can because punch everyone. Man. Well, yeah, but I don't want to punch everyone. I want to punch someone along the line so I get more assists. Then again, um, Dio does bring some guard around. He's number four, mm -hmm. so he should be in the middle. I'm not sure why I don't have him there right now. And. Also here I'm I'm I, I don't think I I'm not pushing as hard on one of the sides because I've got the numerical advantage and his guys are really far back. Yeah. And he's still got all these freaking strip ballers. Yeah, he's got all the good players. You only uh, the guy you killed was level Z it was just a normal guy. Um, yeah, tr the tree had guard, which is actually important, I guess. Mm -hmm. Which is also, I think, one of the reasons why his, why Two Tone moved his guys further back and left uh, only line elves on the on the line. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty mm -hmm. standard. Yeah. Uh, quick snap, always nice, but not super useful unless you're. Uh, Playing against someone that hasn't played enough Blood Bowl to know that you move all your other guys rather than the three on the line of scrimmage if you're a non basher team two steps back. So that you don't get into block range. So you're out of block range if a quick snap happens to come up. And you've got plenty of room to not rush to pick up the ball because his yep. guys are far back in his own line and you're about to smash a dude. Yeah, and I'm at this point. I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Um, rather than thinking about when am I going to score or I hope I score. Um, at this point, I'm thinking, do I do I want to go for a slow touchdown? Do I really want want this to end uh, uh, two to one? And I don't actually. <laughs> you wanna you wanna I, get more, don't you? I, I do want to get more, and I mean it's it's nice to 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 have a, like a safe win, kind of, not super safe because he's got strip ball, and but at least in my twisted mind, I'm at this point I'm like yeah this is this is at least looking good, and it's so and far it gets you more points too. Yeah, and it's more fun to watch and play. Yeah. So I'm like I I'm gonna try and score pretty quickly because I I I want to score quick enough so that he has a few too many rounds to score his touchdown because that means he either has to score I mean there are two ways to score you either score quickly hopefully on a two turn touchdown or you try and wait it out like there's no reason to go for for a slow four turn touchdown because that just means you give four turns to the other team 
to make a slow touchdown as well, and that's 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 just a tie. You want you want to score quickly, or you just want to score once. Yeah. And especially against Woodells, you can score a lot of times quickly. Yeah. See, so it's really good. He picked it up that time. Yeah. He's but the thing is, you keep talking about how good Set is, but the thread. They, for some reason, they're just going to remember it as me being all gushy over set. Yeah. So, fuck you. Yeah, I'm only saying what I'm told. I've got a I... script. That is a lie. Ah, oh, Steve Worstman is the worst man. Yeah. I, I'm not... I mean... I... <laughs> I didn't have to foul, so I'm not sh entirely sure why I did. Especially since I fouled a regular line man. But I mean, once you're in a ro on a roll, you're on a roll. Yeah. And also you've got the spare guy. I do have the spare guy. I I really, really want a sneaky git guy. Yeah, but you need a double for that. I know. If you get a double, you you got to get dodge. Unless it's, like, pass or... Yeah, but the thread's never going to give me dodge. They will. They will give you dodge. No. Well, out of pity, they were going to give you two heads. So, <laughs> I think they'll give you dodge. <laughs> that 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 had nothing to do with pity. <laughs> yeah, it was. You no, know, you know it. <laughs> I had nothing to do with pity. Well, you don't make very many dodges when... They're not no, necessary. no, 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 I mean, so no, I mean, I. They wanted to help, I, mm -hmm. or or enable, one one of the two. Freaking elves! I love elves. They're really good. They are. They're fun to play with. the The only problem with elves is that it, it's kind of easy to to give up on them. If you get a bad start, yeah, and the team gets decimated in like the first three matches or something like that, you can't really come back. But it's just, it's just boring to see like two types of wood, uh, two types of elf team. Those that like have won everything, or those that are new. Yeah, yeah, that's why I like high elves and dark elves more than wood elves. Because they have yeah. a little bit more survivability. Mm -hmm. And pro elves, well, fuck pro elves. I no, I love pro elves. Yeah. That that it. You do. Uh, that is probably that is actually my favorite elf team. Only because you get catchers with nerves of steel. So all you has to do, have to do is get a safe throw on your uh, on your thrower, and then you'll do a two turn touchdown every round. Uh, well, every two. Round. But they are professional. You get what I mean. Yeah. But they are professional elves. So it's yeah. on their CV. Go on and throw it so that guy can catch it. Yeah, that that is one of the one of the things with the uh, interface that always like freaks me out because I never have any intention to pass. But since passing is just right clicking rather than left clicking. I'm like, I might misclick. I need to really think hard about this. Damn, that's number seven, and he is. Oh, he's just a normal line off. Yeah, can't fight that luck. Indeed, he couldn't. He died. Rip. Mm -hmm. So, my plan right now is to try and. You set and get past his uh, defensive line because it's it's either running past and passing or bringing all my guys back around once again. Yeah. But that won't that won't really help much because two tone can just run around my guys once more. You've got to pass. You've got to pass to Hadwick and then run. Yes. See, that would be 4 plus if he didn't have strong arm. Mm hmm. God. Which is also what. Yes, I told you he was really good. Stop! 
And you're like, no, he's not really good. He's the best. I love Seth. Mm. That's you kissing him. Why would I ever write a script like that? <laughs> because you're horrible. I'm not that good a writer. <laughs> but geez, he is so fast now. It is amazing. Like you said at the start, yeah. what one point. Yeah. What a difference um, that uh, makes. Just well, I, what I did. What I did right there was try and make sure that I want to see if there are there's any way I can run so his down player number three uh, wouldn't be able to blitz me, and uh, that's that square over there. Yep. You should put a man next to him anyway. I should. Or in the way, just interference. Yeah, Cosmic. Damn, Cosmic leveled up. Yeah, he did. He, um. He killed something. Yeah. I still can't believe you'll offset more than Kozilek. Just because he's got a magic card. And sets your favorite. I hate. I hate you, Ethan. <laughs> no, I'm really good. I, 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 want, I want to make it be known that before we started this recording session, Blister really wanted to get into the call. And I was like, no. You're, you're just going to ruin it because he would. And now I'm kind of regretting not having him here. Why? Because you didn't have a script written for him, so he'd tell the truth. Because he, he wouldn't lie. <laughs> Blister not lying. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, fair enough. He wouldn't lie about this. And if he did, he is in no way trustworthy. <laughs> so no one would believe his lies. You, however... Tell nothing but the truth, and he's just got an elf standing next to you. Fuck elves. Fuck elves. Like, I was gonna say how oh, you had a really good setup. You were stopping all of his, like hard-hitting players, the strip ballers, from getting near him, but then just, his guy killed himself. And, and that's just, I hate when that happens. Two-Tone really wanted to save his war dancer from an igling, uh, used his apothecary, and got exactly the same result. Yeah. That sucks. Especially from a dodge. Yeah, well he hurt his back instead of his knee. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah. the apothecary fixed his leg, yeah. but... Laid him out bad, I guess. <laughs> I, w I was gonna say before uh, before Two Tone ruined his word answer that I I fucked up and that I I get too into um, no maybe this is ground I fuck up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to watch this and looks see. Looks like the round you fuck up because you're gonna blitz with the cat on that dude. Yes, yes, I would do that, since I always blitz with a cow. That's my modem operandi. Blitzing with a cow. Yeah, you no, what I want to do right here is I want to move uh, number 5 and number 10, uh, Mikey and Ragnar, up towards the towards where the ball is. But I get a bit carried away at punishing... This line, man. Why? Yeah, number 6, why have so much mighty blow? Block and dodge. Uh huh. He's awful. So <laughs> I'm having a round of blocks. And I finally. Hasselhoof. First thing he does, maybe, in the game, chaos. He's my new favorite. Yeah. He's really good. He's been on the field like three turns. And it's just the best. And let me ask you this. Would LL Cow J have been better? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he would have. Maybe not. The ladies love Cow James. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good result. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that less so. So here I'm, uh, the only guy I've got left is Mr. Hadwick. And you got a blitz, I could. and you fuck it up. Oh yeah. no, no, no. You're doing it, you're doing it. Ah. 
No, no, any of the other ones. No, why did you do that to me? Oh, because you want to go the long fancy way. Oh snap! Trust you to offset. He's fancy just like you. That's Mr. Hadwick, you jerk. Yeah. You... He's got movement seven. Jesus, look at him. So Ste stealing all the SPPs. He needs it because he he's gonna, he's, so he's gonna die soon if he doesn't get anything defensive. No, oh, he needs more movement. That's looking good. No. That that less so. Yeah, that's not so good. Bit you expect One him to recover now. Yeah. So we're back to um, we're back to um, what's it? Eight versus eleven. And Steve Worstman is having a bit of a break. And I fucked up. As in, I should have put Dio in the middle. Yeah. But then again, it's not that big a fuck up because his tree man can always punch Dio. Yeah. And his tree man has a guard. Yeah. And he doesn't have that many players really to take advantage of your not optimal placement. Nope. That's looking a bit deep to me. Yeah, um, I I wouldn't have I wouldn't I would have actually put all of all of the guys except the the thrower on the line of sc uh, scrimmage. Yeah, uh, and then just poured through, like from uh, the first drive, just go straight down that middle. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good. What's good about Wood Elves is he is still dangerous with this few players. <laughs> yeah. Um. Damn. Mm -hmm. After all that punching you tried to do on him. Yeah. Was he on the line scrimmage? Yes, that's number six. Yeah, he's okay. He is okay, unfortunately. Um. <laughs> Tree is not. Tree is not. And. Struck by the big guy curse twice yeah. in one round. One yeah. game. Now, what I really want to do is run up and blitz that guy. Yeah. Because I can. Since he has, like, shifted his whole. his whole three guys on the line. Yeah. You, you have to go for it, but. That guy's got no defensive skills at all. Damn. <laughs> now, what I should have done was moved all of my other guys up before I did that. Yeah, but you're pretty much where you you started. Yeah, I mean, I I mean, it's it's a bad play for me, but I can't really feel bad because uh, Teuton got blood bowled <laughs> in yeah. the sense that he got he got a bit unlucky earlier on. A rock to. Two tree fall downs. Then again, it's just uh, it's just a good excuse for me for playing badly. I'm like, oh, he's so he's so unlucky. I don't have to play real good. <laughs> her -de -her -de -her -de. <laughs> That's you. That's the noise you make when you're kissing set. Her -de -her -de -her -de -her -de. Yeah. It just what I was, yep, I'm gonna punch your guy and then the cartwheel through the air. A million times. <sighs> I hate what else? They can dodge, I can't. They can dodge, they can dodge really good. And uh, it's often, if you look at the numbers, like a crazy man, it's better to get your wood elves dodge before block. 
Yeah. Because you're more likely to fail the dodge roll, getting them out of trouble, than punching, because you shouldn't be punching, really. No, you shouldn't. Look at that guy. Yeah. He's He's gone. He's already gone. Yeah, and I mean, one of the good things, I mean, well, the good thing for Two-Tone and the, uh, using this strategy is that I have to focus on getting to his catcher. Yep. And I have to commit at least to two guys because he's really good at catching the ball and he's got nerves of steel. So I need to cover his escape. Yeah. With tackle zones, meaning that even though he's got less players than me, I need to commit more players to every one of his players. So, exactly. and that evens it out a bit. I mean, I've still got the strength advantage by a lot. I can punch the shit out of his team, but that might not stop him from scoring. Yep. It's also good to try and get the intercept on the pass to the catcher because the catcher will probably get it but if you get there first you might get lucky yep. really lucky yeah I mean you roll the intercept before the pa pass is finalized and regardless of how little or how much agility you have it's it's always going to be a 6 plus roll yeah it's always a tough roll yep. so I'm going to try that again now that you've moved to other people yeah Oh. It worked this time. And then he grabbed the ball. Yeah. Which is pretty bad news for Two Tone because oh. I've got strength four. And all and of his big guys, his big hitters, are not up there, I don't think. Yeah. And, I mean, so at this point. I can take advantage of my strength advantage, which I couldn't before, in the same sense. Yeah. But then, but then again, I, I do roll skulls from time to time. I think he's got the movement to get back, but he's still having to commit guys that were downfield, and now that's freeing up your guys to mark his catcher some more. Yeah, and he needs to move his, uh, his catcher and war dancers, otherwise I'm gonna punch him. Yeah. And he rolled push, push. And now he's out of rerolls. That went about as well as could be expected. Yeah. Like, Dio could have stood there and took it, but he, he had look at all the guys he had to commit to that. That's mm -hmm. three guys that are now not upfield. And I, we, I mean, I can, I can blitz him back yeah. next round. Look at that catcher, whoosh! Fucking catchers. So now you've got to remark the catcher. Mhm. Mm yeah. Luckily, now I've got more guys closer to him, so now it's also going to be easier for me to make a good, uh, uh, well, cover. Yeah, like a reverse cage. You know, it it would have been perhaps better to have like two guys below him and then one guy straight above him. But I like in this case, I I don't know why I'm I'm trying to put up an excuse for this. I should have put it the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you like oh I, I hate having to come up with an excuse and then just like no no I should have done it the other way around. Damn. Yeah, I'm I'm like I I I put him that way. So it would have been easier to do an intercept when he does do the pass. But then I realized, no, that wouldn't matter. Because if I've got one guy in front, he's always going to be able to make an intercept. Also, my Minotaur has been walking along the whole freaking game. Yeah, he's been really well behaved. You haven't had to blitz with him yeah. to make him move. Which is not something I want to do regardless, since I'm playing against guys with dodge and block. Yeah. They, they, uh, blodge. Blodge is mm. tough, and it's even tougher when 
you can't get block and you're, and you're just uh, relying on having more dice than the other guy. Yeah. That's what and, I'm talking about. Yeah, and that's a pretty good spot for me. Uh, it would have been much worse had it actually gone the other way. Because now I've got a fair amount of tackle zones on it. I can get another one there. And there's a whole bunch of big scary Chaos Warriors and the Minotaur next to it. Where are you going, Hasselhief? He is going back there. See, I should have I should have done it the other way around because now he only has to do a three plus dodge and then a two plus dodge. Otherwise, he would have done the same and just ran upwards, but it would have been more movement. I I mean, he would have. I think he still would have made it, so it doesn't actually yeah, it, it, matter. It, yeah. But this just just doesn't look as good. It's just principle of the general idea. Yeah. Sure and see. Mm -hmm. See, even people with sure hands fail. Well, to be fair, he it, it was in three tackle zones. Well, I mean, it, if he was ever going to fail it to was pick then. up the ball, yeah. yeah, yeah, he managed to roll a zero. But damn this. This could go well. Mm -hmm. It could be 3-1 Chaos against the Wood Elf team. Which is pretty good. Skullfolk could... Oh, damn. Damn. He could, he could score and, and maybe level up. He could. Or oh, he could just... Oh, no, he did it. He did it. He did. He could also just run over there and hand over the ball to uh, Grumblegold Manslapper. Yep. Yep, he could. He could. There's options. Mm -hmm. And then Grumblegold could Score run right away to, uh, to the other side of the pitch and then be boring and score... Uh, Score in the last turn because if I do score now, he does have two rounds to to make a goal or a touchdown. But then again, it's actually more fun to score first. But I do want to take advantage of my Minotaur standing right there. Yeah. So, um, uh, that's the noise I made when I saw that happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, once again, it's uh, it's one of those things when you think about it afterwards, you're like, why did I do that? I could have just run and scored, and it would have given me an extra touchdown and more star player points, and Grumble Got Man Slapper would probably have leveled up if I did it, so I'm not sure why I didn't. Because you, the monitor was there. Yeah, it's, it's one of those... Things where like oh, but it's 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 just a pretty good block. I sh shouldn't be any problems. And, and it's a pretty good chance of the Minotaur getting more points too. Yeah. You're trying to get all the points. You're greedy for points. I am. But to be honest, you need them. <laughs> I do, but we have made it up to a point where. I mean, so far. No one has died or got injured this game, which means we got 14 players for the next game. Yeah. That's pretty darn good. That means I shouldn't be outnumbered, hopefully. Which... Going for it. Aren't they? Yeah. You didn't. That means you can, you can still go. You can still score. I can. I'm out of rerolls though. Yeah, well. Sometimes you just gotta trip an elf up. Mm hmm. Oh, and he's in the way now, so you've gotta spend more movement. Yeah. 
Yeah, remark the That's why elves are good, because you have to yep. mark the catcher, otherwise he could very easily score next turn, just no troubles. Like, even with your guys there, you could probably still do it. Well, he does have Nerves of Steel. Um... It's why I wouldn't really play a Wood Elf team with only one catcher, because it's nice to be able to pressure that much yeah. everywhere. Ha if he had two catchers, I would have, I wouldn't have been able to commit as many players. This far up and the pitch, I, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things that they're they're really vulnerable, but you need to have them on your team to pressure the other team into covering them. Yeah. It's like you you want them to be in a situation where they might get punched. But you don't really want them to get punched. Okay, I'm guessing a block with number six on ten, and then with Mr. Nine grabbing the ball. Mayhaps. Why would I? Or are you going to do a blitz and then the other way around? Damn, do it. Good start, good start. Good start, very good start. No rerolls. No rerolls. Putting up some extra insurance yep. if I do fail. Just to have and someone there, it's nice. Yeah. And now I'm trying to figure out if I want to if I want to punish number five with the magic card, number one. And since what happened last round I decided against it. And now I'm like, fuck, why did I punch with the Minotaur? <laughs> but I'm not feeling too bad because Mr. Hadwick managed to pick it up, so he needs to blitz yeah, Mr. He, Hadwick. Yeah, he needs to knock the ball th free and then pick mm -hmm. it up with a different guy and then throw it. Yep. Which isn't the easiest play to make. But then again, number nine actually has strip ball, ball yeah, so knock, he doesn't have to knock him. Yeah, knocking the so, ball free is the easy part for him. And, but now he's still got to pick that ball up in two tackle zones and then throw it. So there's yep. dodges and stuff and it needs more than one player. For the whole manoeuvre. But look, see, Wood Elves. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, snap! snap! <laughs> Ragnar Berserk and gets his first two points. Yes! He's my new favourite. Sorry, Hasselhoof. <laughs> you were a golden boy, but Ragnar just didn't intercept. To stop the tie sc score. Jesus. That that is that was good. Yeah. No money, but good. Also look at my fan factor roll. <laughs> Damn. I'm back up to eight. Son of a Yeah, welcome to Woodolf Catchers at all the points. Damn. Damn, sets 1.08. That means next match, because he always...